Hey guys, BT here Plum here, and today I'm with my brand new old stock Universal Rundle or URC urinal. Uh, I'm pretty sure it goes both ways. Here is the logo. I got this, I think, two years ago for $99 on eBay, which wasn't bad at all. So, this is honestly a pretty cool urinal, in my opinion. It's very basic, nothing really special. It looks like it's a giant trapway, but don't let the looks deceive you. It is actually super skinny. So, even though the mouth of the trapway is like the size of a toilet trap, it's in reality, you can only fit like four fingers down in there. It's super narrow. So uh, I took out the Zern diaphragm that was in the flushometer and replaced it with this. Uh, I got this at a restore for like $2, I believe. I got two of these. It's a urinal repair kit. It replaces a Sloan A37A diaphragm. This one's 1 1.5 gallons per flush. And one thing I love about this diaphragm is it has more water flow than the urinal, the Zern diaphragm for urinals. And even when the flush is over, it's still uh is slightly open which allows water to flow back into the bowl to refill it to the water line which is pretty nice you can see there's the room bits up there there's none really on the side except for down at the down at the front can't really it's hard to show them but uh, i think you can see them i hope you can and then there's one big one right in the middle so yeah let me give you all a flush here we go So as y'all could see, even after the flush, it still allowed enough water to flow back into the bowl to refill it, which is pretty awesome. Let me just wipe down my camera really quick. But overall, again, this is a fairly basic design. It's made, I'm pretty sure it's made as cheap as possible, but I like any type of siphonic urinal. So I'm honestly happy with it, especially for <laughs> brand new old stock. But um, it's honestly a pretty light urinal too. It's barely got any weight to it, so. I don't really know if I can do tests with this or not. I'll be able to flush some stuff down it, like maybe do a dye test with all my urinals. But other than that, since this has a super skinny trapway, again, it's super wide as you can tell, but I can just barely fit one finger wide or in length, if that makes sense. Like if I try to put three fingers, it won't fit in there just because it's again, super wide and not tall, which unfortunately gives it a weak siphon, but let me go give y'all another flush like this, just so you can see the rim jets. Here we go. I wish the trapway was designed a little bit differently so it didn't have such a weak siphon because it only gurgles two times, which is not a lot. And it's super quiet as y'all can tell. And it seems these need a lot, a lot excuse me, a lot of water flow to cause the siphon because there's plenty of these on YouTube or at least a couple I know of and none of them siphon except for mine and I think one other video of this on YouTube but other than that these aren't the best urinals uh, they definitely have good bull rinse I don't think there would ever be like any type of minerals or pee that would dry up under here which is nice and it's always good to have a urinal uh, to use a little bit more water but then be more effective so now I'm gonna give you all a close-up flush like this here we go As you can tell, the siphon was really weak. So um, yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't know if there's enough water in the tank, but let's give it a try. Nope. Bye.